What's up guys, I'm NKBSD here. Welcome to another episode of Weekly Tech News. So, let's start. Before I start the news headlines first, Android 7.0 Nougat lands on the OnePlus 3 via unofficial CyanogenMod 14. Reliant Geo said to be testing 1 Gbps fiber to home broadband. HTC Nexus Sailfish leaks. Latest update to Pokemon Go blocks rooted devices from entering the game. Sony Xperia X and Sony Xperia Z5 Premium smartphones get huge price cuts in India. Samsung says Galaxy Note 7 recall will cost a heartbreaking amount. Turing Monolith Chicken to come with 3 Snapdragon 830 SoC with 18GB RAM. Oxygen OS 3.1.0 OTA update now ready for OnePlus 2. OnePlus 3 soft gold version launching October 1st week in India. Android 7.0 Nougat lands on the OnePlus 3 via unofficial Cyanogen Mod 14. With the OnePlus 3 being a developer friendly device, it was bound to happen sooner or later. While OnePlus is busy merging its team and working to build a stable build of Nougat for the average OnePlus 3 users, the above average power users that frequent to my channel can find a piece of the latest dessert without all the wet. There have been a few Android 7.0 Nougat builds floating around for the OnePlus 3, but most of these raised a few flags like uh, having no verifiable source code or being of shady origin. But now we have a build that is from a good source. Thanks to XDS senior member Takar18 who have developed unofficial Cyanogen Mod 14 build for the OnePlus 3. Compiled from the official Cyanogen Mod source gives users a good look at Nougat on the device. Since this is an early WIP build, there are several major important features that are not working which will make it difficult for people to adapt it as their prime daily driver. So guys, let me tell you what's not working. Number 1 camera, number 2 call, number 3 alert slider, number 4 dashers and more. If you want to know more about this matter then you have to check out my description for direct link. Reliant Geo said to be testing 1 Gbps fiber to home broadband. Reliant Geo Giga Fiber reportedly being tested in Mumbai and Pune. It could provide network speeds up to 1 Gbps. The official launch is expected in sometime next year. HTC Nexus Selfish Leaks Selfish is the codename of Google's upcoming Nexus devices. With most companies having launched their flagships for the second half of the year, the stage is set for Google working with HTC this year to launch its new flagships. Although we are not sure exactly when the Selfish will be unveiled for the world, today I got some leaks so let me tell you guys what I know. We can expect a full HD display probably measuring around 5.2 to 5.3 inches alongside the Snapdragon 820 processor. Although it might be the Snapdragon 821 and 4GB of RAM, we are also expecting 32GB internal storage, a 12 megapixel rear camera and 8 megapixel front camera and a rear mounted fingerprint sensor. The whole package is likely to be powered by a 2770mAh battery while it will run Android Nougat out of the box. What could make the selfish stand out is the rumored metal and glass build and I am also hearing it's likely that Google will drop the Nexus naming convention for its latest devices. Some leaks told me that new name will be Pixel. Latest update to Pokemon Go blocks rooted devices from entering the game. The latest update tries to bring back some of the lost crowd, but in typical Neatic fashion. It goes one step forward and two step back. This release brings a new feature in the form of Pokemon Buddy, a virtual mon that appears on your profile page and gives out candy rewards for its species if you walk a certain threshold distance 
with the mon activated as a buddy. So where's the catch? The catch for rooted users is in the announcement post. So let's hear the announcement post. We continue to focus on eliminating bots and scrappers from Pokemon Go. Rooted or jailbroken devices are not supported by Pokemon Go. Remember to download Pokemon Go from the official Google Play Store or iTunes App Store only. This update version 0.37.0 essentially blocks out rooted users. If you have a rooted device, this is the screen you will encounter if you try to log in. Sony Xperia X and Xperia Z5 Premium smartphones get huge price cuts in India. Sony India has slashed the prices of its two flagship smartphones Xperia X and Xperia Z5 Premium by quite a bit. The Sony Xperia X which was originally launched at 48,990 rupees is now available at 38,990 rupees. On the other hand, the last year's flagship Xperia Z5 Premium which was launched at 55,990 rupees can now be purchased for 47,990 rupees. So Sony fans, why are you waiting? Go and buy. Samsung says Galaxy Note 7 recall will cost a heartbreaking amount. Analysts predict $1 billion hit. Samsung has shifted more than 2.5 million units of the Galaxy Note 7 ever since this smartphone was released in the third week of August. The company is now having the recall those units because of a battery cell issue that Samsung has identified. It's going to voluntarily replace all Galaxy Note 7 units or give them full refunds if they no longer want to use the company's latest flagship. Naturally, there's a cost associated with this exercise and while Samsung wouldn't confirm how much it expects to spend on the recall, the head of its smartphone business, Dong Jingko, would only say that it's a heartbreaking amount. He made this comment when asked about the financial impact of the Galaxy Note 7 recall at the press briefing last week. Analyst estimates compiled by Bloomberg suggested that Samsung is going to take a $1 billion hit on the Galaxy Note 7 recall. During Monolith Chicken to come with a 3 Snapdragon 830 SoC and 18GB RAM. Turing continues to announce its concept phones with spaces that are unbelievable even on paper. The latest in its list of unrighteously spec phones is the Monolith Chicken, a phone with not one, not two, but three Qualcomm Snapdragon 830 processor, a whooping 18GB RAM, and 1.2TB internal storage. It will come with 6.4-inch display with 4K resolution with 688 ppi. You also get a 60 megapixel camera on the back with support for recording up to 6K IMAX resolution. On the front, you get a dual camera with up to 20 megapixel resolution. The phone will be powered by a 120WH battery. The phone is scheduled to be released in 2018. So we have to wait. Oxygen OS 3.1.0 OT update now ready for OnePlus 2. What we like about OnePlus is the fact that the Chinese company strives to send out software updates regularly. It's easier for the company to deliver since it only has few models to work on. The Oxygen OS 3 version has been released already for the OnePlus 3. Now it's OnePlus 2's turn to get it. The last one we remember was the Oxygen OS 3.0.2 update released last June. OnePlus 3 soft gold version launching October 1st week in India. OnePlus started rolling out the soft gold version of the OnePlus 3 smartphone in the US, Europe, Hong Kong and Canada recently. It already confirmed that the new variant will launch in India soon. Today the company has announced that it will launch in the country in the first week of the October just in June for Jewel.
By the way guys, OnePlus India also having a competition. You can win sub gold variant of OnePlus 3 by participating in this competition. If you wanna participate then just visit OnePlus India's official Facebook page. That's it for now. Hope you guys have a great day. See you next time. Peace.